Mommy, we're staying home, baby. We're going to eat for Eid. Okay. Eid is a celebration for Muslims. It's basically if you put Thanksgiving and Christmas together. Kids are happy. Uh, you cook sweets, you cook meat. Uh, so it's, of course, it's a celebration time. I like to be able to dress up because they were very vibrant colors, very colorful. Oh, Judith loves the fact that she gets to dress up and she gets to be with her family because she is very much doted on every time someone comes over. I would describe Judith as sassy, feisty. She very much has an attitude. She, if she doesn't want to do something, she pretends to sleep. She'll even fake snore. But if she's having fun or if she wants your attention, she'll go to you and she'll lay on you. Mama, okay. I'm a 33-year-old. I'm originally from Texas. And I'm a mom of three. I am also a special needs mom. <laughs> Judith's physical challenges would be one is that she doesn't use her hands for anything. Her hands and her arms, so she can't feed herself, she can't go to the bathroom, she can't pick things up, she can't hold things. They say special needs kids pick special parents or family members. No, they make you special. And special kids would teach you how to be patient, trust me. If you're not patient, your kid would tell you how to be patient. My name is Caitlin, and my daughter Judith has CDKL5 disorder. Judith was born on December 5th, 2012. We took her home, and after I finished feeding her, she had convulsions. We were in the hospital when we first got word that it was possibly CDKL5. So the doctor came in and she saw Judith. She said, well, I have another patient that does, it has the same characteristics that she's presenting with and she has CDKL5. So she asked me if I would be willing to do a genetic test and I agreed. We, of course, got on our phones, got on our laptops and started Googling what CDKL5 was. Which was the biggest mistake we could have ever made. We both looked at each other and just broke into tears because we realized then that she most likely would never walk or talk and she would be dependent on us for the rest of her life. CDD, or CDKL5 deficiency disorder, is a neurogenetic disorder in which there are abnormalities or mutations in a specific gene called CDKL5. That gene makes a protein which functions as an enzyme and is very critical in brain development. And the disease is very characteristic because these patients present with early onset epilepsy that is very refractory to the traditional anti-seizure medications and also they have significant developmental delay. I called my mom at work and she cried and then she came home from work because we really just weren't sure what we were going to do. As a new mom, you don't know what you're doing. And now a new mom of a special needs kid, you definitely don't know what you're doing. So we basically were winging it at that point. <laughs> By the time that the patients are five, six months, they are already fi failing the way they use their uh, hands, they are unable to sit independently, because all this mechanism that is supposed to be in place is just not there and is failing. Once Judith got her diagnosis, I was living with my mom and her biological father um, decided that he did not want to help. So I started going to school and I also worked overnight. And um, so it was basically me, my mom, and Judith. So you, as they say, live and learn. And we did a lot of that. We did a lot of trial and error too. 
We weren't always right. We didn't always make the right decisions, but we made the right ones for Judith. The seizures are common in CDD and unfortunately they're frequent and really hard to control with meds. There's nothing that really treats the underlying condition, but we treat the symptoms that are most severe and those are typically seizures. She was having seizures all pretty much all the time. Um, she also was having infantile spasms at this point. She was four months old and infantile spasms is a type of seizure that completely will destroy a brain. When Judith hit around 14 months old, she stopped having seizures. And people have, have talked about a honeymoon phase, is what they call it, is when they have no seizures at all. She was doing really well. She was learning a lot. She was going to school. She loved school. Um, she, was, she was eating. And then the seizures came back at school. And the teacher, we were at a field day, and the teacher said, I think she had a seizure and it all just came crashing back down at that point. We put her on the ketogenic diet, which um, helped control her seizures. Even if she's gone like into status, which is when she has seizures for a very prolonged amount of time, and then she regresses, and things that she's learned, she always relearns everything that she's forgotten. She's nonverbal. She gets her point across by facial expressions. Um, she does make noise. So if she doesn't like something, she'll, she'll growl at you, she'll yell at you. If she enjoys things, she smiles or she laughs. When they first met, it was on it was on a Sunday. I remember that he came over to the house, and she was on the floor, you know, rolling around, playing, watching her favorite movie. Her favorite movie is Tarzan. He knew I was a special needs mom, and it was just love at first sight. And my dad used to say that whenever you're trying to get married, you know, you got to look at a person from, especially the woman, you know, whoever you try to marry. You have to see what kind of mother she is instead of what kind of wife she would be because that is more important than this one because that describes a human being f in a far, far deeper level than a wife could be. That is her dad, that is her baba. I will completely admit that, that she loves him and she will prefer him over me any day, even though I gave birth to her. Like I said, she, she chose her dad in that aspect, and I, I think everyone pretty much accepts that. I can die for her, you know? <laughs> uh, putting it into words is very, um, not very easy. Of course, there's ups and downs, but um, she's my daughter. I don't care what medical science says. I don't care what people say. She's my daughter. I Judy and I have a special bond that a lot of times even her mom doesn't understand this, um, and I, I can't understand. This is beyond words. It's like as if she picked the family that she wanted, and she got a great one. She really did. We're making a lot of progress in treating CDD in many ways. There is no treatment for the underlying cause of CDD, which is the gene abnormality. On the bright side, we've introduced some medications, for example, to treat seizures. 
But what we haven't done is made a really big impact on these kids' lives with respect to their neurodevelopmental status, their ability to walk, their ability to have fine motor controls of their fingers, their ability to speak, their ability to interact with their families is still unfortunately very limited. And I really hope gene therapy or other therapies unlock these child's lives. So there's an organization that is actually doing um, research on Judith's uh, mutation. And I'm hoping that they're able to get that protein uh, chromosome in the DNA library, which is basically what will fix my daughter, um, you know, and a lot of other kids as well in the world. Um, so she can communicate just like, um, she can talk, she can call me Baba. I would like to be able to see her eat any food on her own and enjoy it, to see the world, to, to see how beautiful everything is, and to know that she got to do everything that everybody else gets to do. I want her to have every advantage that she can. So I would take away CDKL5 and just watch her bloom. You almost hit Judy. There's nothing more than in this life that I would like to see, to see my daughter standing up and you know walking. Uh, and it teaches you uh, about life. It changes your perspective about a lot of things. It could always be worse. So that's kind of the thing that we go with is that it could always get worse. So we always are hopeful. Oh, look at the airplane. Some days are worse, but some days are a lot better too. So we try to try to even it out and it, it makes it for, for a pretty good life. High five, Alina, high five. Good job. Is that, was that an airplane? Say yes.